You told the story. 
Look at those verses within that 15 chapter of 1 Samuel. And meditate over what I told him to do. And something happened. I said, good Lord, I got to I got to go back and miss. Then he said, the specify my voice as far as what I told so have mercy Lord verses 24 through 26 because these are this is the response to a man that has been convicted For disobeying God. And you see the trouble out of my hand. God said, I want my people to see the consequences of disobeying me. We, we, we share some things as we went from one area to the next area to see what I had in store for you from, from people who are
this woman, when you look at this text today, it's straight up hard to the point. Yes. Because if you look at this, we'll see that back to the first verse. If you just, 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 just bear with me just a little while. We, if we go back to the first verse, amen. Scripture says that Samuel also said unto Saul, Samuel being the prophet of God, Saul being the king of Israel, the Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over, thee, over, over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou to the voice of the words of the Lord. That tells you right there, Samuel said, this is what the Lord is saying for you to do. Amen. And so whatever that the Lord is saying for you to do, you either going to obey it or disobey it. So the second verse of his black line again he said, Thus say the Lord of hosts. Thus say the Lord God of hosts. Thus say the Lord of God and his glory. I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. How he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. That he is a nation of people, particularly the Amalekites. You know, you always have a crowd that like to bully. And usually bullies like to bully folk who they feel won't respond, won't fight back. Israel, from the visible and from the physical eye, appeared to be weak. For they were not folk that had been trained in battle. They were they were people who had been enslaved for some 400 years. And someone who has been enslaved for quite some time, sometimes will take on the spirit of being a slave, yes. even when they are free. Yes. You've seen people in relationships in which they have been bad, may have been physical, may have been mental, spiritually, emotionally, when they meet the right person, they won't let their guard down because they are so accustomed to being beaten up. When I say beaten up, I'm not just always talking about physical fighting, but I mean being bad and verbally. I was having a witness. And because of what they've been accustomed to, you've got to understand, Israel only knew how to be slaves. Even though they had a great leader from God being Moses, but from time to time, even after leaving Egypt, they would have to moments that they would want to talk back at Moses for what God was telling Moses to do for them. We were better off in Egypt. So they still had an mentality. And, 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 and it goes back to putting goals and setting goals. If you have go. Sometimes you wonder why certain people are able to excel in this life and others not. Because they have a mindset to want to do better. Yes. It's not based on your last name. Come on. We even know now. We, we didn't know. We, we know the last three and years. It's not even based on you being a millionaire. Yeah. I wish I had a witness here today. Yes. But it's based on your mindset. It's based on what's in your mind. And more importantly, in your heart for as to want to do better. Yes. Israel was being led by God by Moses, but yet they had signs that they want to bicker right. when he was out in the wilderness. Yeah. But what appeared to the world 
tell you what, I tell you what, the word here says here, amen. He said, now what I want you to do, I want you to go and smite the Amalekites, Amalek, destroy all that they have. Spare them not. But slay both men and women, infant and son, ox and sheep, camel and ant. Amen. Go back to Exodus 17. We just want to, they want to, we just want to, we're going to preach a little bit. We just want to just show you something. Right? We want to show you that, 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 that God is, is a sovereign God, but he's a God also we cannot die. Amen. If we go back to Exodus 17 and 14, amen, the word says, and the Lord said to Moses, write this for a memorial in it. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under the hell. God loved Moses and he wanted to make him understand that those Amalekites who have been, had picked on you and had bothered you and caused problems you, I will not forget it. You are long gone. Make sure that Joshua continue to remember. Make sure that people understand that this is not the end. If you go to Deuteronomy, amen, 25 and, and, and 19, it says, Therefore, it shall be when the Lord thy God have given thee rest from all thy enemies. Round about in the land which the Lord thy God give thee for inheritance to possess it. That thou shalt rise. So 